Today I'm going to explain to you the difference between the digital display and the fermenter temperature controller. So this digital display comes with the basic fermenter when it's purchased and it displays the current temperature inside the fermenter. So to connect it, just um, connect it onto the, the back plate. It's got a, a magnet with some um, pogo pins so it's completely cordless and as it is now it's 19.4 degrees Celsius inside of the fermenter. So the good thing about this is that with the basic unit, just with this one, you can already have some heating for your fermenter. So with the basic unit you will get um, some power cables which includes a 2 meter long uh, fermenter power cord which you plug, plug into the back of the fermenter, a wall adapter because the fermenter runs on 12 volts so this takes your uh, power from the wall and uh, converts it to 12 volts. So to get heating for that for this fermenter, the standard one, just plug this into the wall and when you do so and when the power is switched on, it, the heater will switch on. And so to switch the heater off again, you just unplug it from the wall or switch the power off at the wall. Um, it will heat at a, a pretty constant rate of about one degree Celsius per hour. So for instance, if you if your environment or where you're fermenting is 12 degrees Celsius and you want to maintain 18 degrees Celsius that's a 6 degree difference and so it will take about 6 hours to heat up to that and because of the double insulated wall once it's at the temperature it will keep that temperature for quite a good amount of time. So when you purchase the fermenter temperature controller uh, it is able to control the heating, so if, if it needs to rise to 18 degrees Celsius, it will rise and uh, it will switch off the heating and then switch back on if it gets too cool. Um, and then this can also control cooling with the addition of the glycol chiller. But, so for heating right now, to, uh, to, to connect this, simply disconnect this one and just exactly the same way, connect that. And when it's plugged in, you'll see uh, the screen light up and uh, you've got a current temperature display in big and you've got a target temperature and to switch it you just simply go up and down. So you can see if I increase the target the heating bar will switch on and once it gets to 22 it will switch off again until it needs to heat again. 